Glory, hallelujah, praise the name of Jesus. Today I pray that God will take you from glory to glory. You will not be stranded. Whatsoever is bad in your life, God will turn it to good. And God will turn your good to better. Your better, God will turn to best. And everything that you think is best, God will turn it to excellence. And from excellent, God will turn you from excellent to glory. And from glory to glory, you will go. You will never know a dry season. Every dry season in your life is turned around. In the name of Jesus, it is done. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. This is Joseph Adenunga, the pastor of Prevailing Church. I'm here with the gospel of Jesus Christ as usual to encourage, to motivate, and to establish you in the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. And today, I continue to speak on the topic, hang on there. You see, the reason why you need to hang on is that most of the time, the victory is very, very close. We don't know. I remember the story of a man that I read in the book, you know, the you know uh, you know that was written by one of the great men of God in this world, Robert Schuller. Is it is told the story of a man who was digging for gold in those days. They used to go to South Africa. You know, it was a gold mine. People were digging for gold, and this guy also bought a pot of land and began to dig. And he was digging and he was digging, and he got to a point. Because they said, they, 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 you know, the, the experts said there's too much gold in that land. And so when he began to dig, he got some gold. He was so happy, sold everything, bought that land and went into work digging and digging. He got to a point, he got discouraged. He thought that that field was just an illusion and that there was no gold on that land. And so he quit. He quit and sold his equipment, sold the land. And before he could pack everything that he had on that land to go away, the buyer of the land began to dig. He didn't dig for long when he got into this gold that made him one of the richest men. Hallelujah. So he saw that he was almost touching the gold by the time he quit. But the buyer didn't even struggle to get the riches. He, he quit at the point of success. He quit at the point of enjoyment. He quit at the point of victory. Don't quit. Hang on there. Something good is going to happen to you. You see, if what you are doing is what you love to do, if what you are doing is what you believe God has called you to do, it may be tough. There may be storm. There may be problems. There may be oppositions. Things may not go right, but don't quit. Hang on there because your victory is very sure. I know to tell you this by the word of the Lord. If you will not quit, you will succeed. Have you somebody asked me, he said, Pastor, how do you get messages to preach Every day, every day you send messages, you never get tired. In fact, I get tired of, you know, of even hearing you because you every day, every day. How do you do it? It's because I have learned the secret of hanging on. I started sending these messages when it seemed as if no one was noticing me. I did not quit sending these messages. There are times when I needed to send these messages with the last you know, the last money in my account I withdrawn to make way for sending these messages. And in those days, it was like I was just doing it. It was like nobody was noticing what I was doing. But you see, I kept doing it. You see, when you keep doing what God has called you to do, sometimes it may seem as if you are doing nothing. It may seem as if you are playing. But if you will not quit, you are going to see result. Hallelujah. When I got to Bethlehem, South Africa, I came to Bethlehem. You know, one friend of mine, Prophet Abraham, brought me to Kwakwa, and from there I came to Bethlehem. Hallelujah. When I got to Bethlehem, nothing. It was like nothing. I was just doing, it was like I was just alone. But is it because I kept on, I hung on there, and I continued to do it. 
And I thank God today. You see, if you will not quit, if you will hang on there, you will see the result. You see, there is a, a power God put in place in the universe. It always favors any man who does not quit what he believes God has called him to do. When you hang on and keep trying, you are going to strike gold that is going to surprise you and mesmerize your greatest enemy. You see, your greatest detractors are going to bow down to you if you will hang on there and keep doing what God has called you to do. Remember, you know, when they were building the walls of Jerusalem, led by the, the project was led by Nehemiah. It got to a point that their detractors came, Sambalat and Tobias. They came to discourage them in the work that they were doing for God. But you see, these guys made up their mind that they are going to hang on there. They are not going to quit. And that is why I love the slogan that says, winners never quit. And quitters have never seen to win any battle. Quitters have never seen to quit to win any battle. Don't quit. Don't give up. Many people that are listening to the sound of my voice, you are thinking of giving up your marriage. Don't give up hanging there. You are saying, but my husband is going with different kinds of women. I am tired. Why don't you hang in there? Something good is about to happen to you. Maybe you are earning very little amount of money and you are thinking of quitting. If you quit, what will you be doing? Hanging there. Sometimes it is not the money that we are handing in the places where we are working that really matters. Maybe God wants you to gather some experience. Maybe that experience is what is going to help you. Hallelujah. I remember the story of Steve Jobs. He you know, the founder of Apple Macintosh. He founded that big, great company that brought computers and personal computers to the world today. Hallelujah. Can you imagine a company that he started? He was the one that got the vision, but he got to a point in his life when he was, you know, dumped. When he was fired from the company that he originated the company that he started, but he did not quit. I don't want you to quit. You need to hang in there. I don't know what has happened. I don't know what the devil has done. I don't know how badly the enemy has struck you. You may have fallen. You may have lost something. You may have lost money. You may be going through the storms of life. And people may not know what you are going through. You are hit badly. You are going through rough times. People look at you. They don't know what you are going through. Some even are envying you, not knowing that you are going through the pain. But I want to tell you, hang in there. Because God is there with you in the storm. God is there with you in that calamity. God is there with you in that trial. Because God says, when you pass through the waters, I'm going to be with you. When you pass through the fire, the fire will not burn you. Hang in there. God is with you. Hang in there. Do what is right and you will get the result. Sometimes it may take time. Sometimes it may not take time. Whether it takes time for you to get out of this quagmire or it does not take time. Hang in there. Don't give up. Hallelujah. Don't give up. That is a message for you today. This is what God has me to tell you today. Hang in there. Don't give up. God loves you. He cares so much for you. I'm going to stop there. Thank you so much for listening. I believe this has blessed you. Rebroadcast this. Forward this to your friends. Share this on Facebook, on Twitter. Forward it in your WhatsApp. And I know it's going to bless somebody. Thank you so much. Uh, if you want to listen to more messages by me, go to our website, www. Triggers for success.com. For 
as in figure four. Triggers for success.com. Go there. There are hundreds of messages that are going to bless you. And the right hand corner, there's a donation button. If God has blessed you to our messages and you want to support us in sending these messages to more people around the world, we need money to do that. And you can be a partner to that. And God is going to bless you. At the right hand column, there's a donation button. Hit the donation button. Donate whatever you can donate. And the blessings of God is going to come back to you in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for listening. I pray that the glory of God will fill you in the name of Jesus. It is well with your soul. This is Joseph Adenoga, the pastor of Prevailing Church, signing out right now, and I'm saying, be blessed and remain blessed.